Hello, welcome back to the Nitro Run of Resident Evil now. I hadn't done this in a long time, so I kind of wanted to do this. And this is actually the last recording session in this house. So it'll actually be nice, I'll have my own office and everything pretty soon. Aha! So, also I was doing the Jill cosplay again for Fanime. So I was trying to improve it a little bit, I wanted a bit of practice on it. So, still got a couple things I need to improve, but wanted an excuse to wear it. That seemed fun. So, one thing, I was playing around with the items and hacking. And I noticed this transceiver item, that at some point in the game you get a radio. That doesn't work. But you never actually get it in your inventory or anything. But it seems they actually programmed it in if you find it. And when you look at it, it's just transceiver. Has a bit of an animation with the thing that flips up, but just says it hasn't been used. So, little bonus easter egg thing I think they threw in there. <laughs> I'm not really sure why they went to the effort to even animate the thing twisting up. I don't think they had any plans to put it in. I don't know. It was kind of fun. Anyway. I ran back up to where I was in the last video, which was just after Yawn. So we're pretty much right before the Crimson Head Elder. Or the prototype Crimson Head. Whatever you want to call him. Alpha Crimson Head. So, uh, yeah. Let me just fix up my inventory since I just had that transmitter there to show you guys. I also thought it was interesting that depending on what item code you put in, like here using 98 will get you the open fuel canister. That when you examine it, it'll like do the closing animation and close and everything. That tells you the, the running thing. But it still shows up as open. But if you change that to 31, then you get the closed version. So technically the open and closed versions are two different items in the game. Which is odd because there is technically the third one if you have it as 111. Then you just have the empty one. So this one's just the empty one. But both, both versions of the one with it will still kill you. So it doesn't really matter which one you use. So we'll use the closed one because it makes the most sense. Oh yeah, little tidbit. There's a cat playing in the moving boxes right there. I'm not sure how well you guys can see. I don't think he's quiet in the shot. He's just crawling in the boxes. So if you hear random clawing noises like that, it's him. Anyway, so I actually fucked up. Like I was running through the up to this part with the infinite rocket launcher and there's like not in this hallway, but the next hallway, there's two- there's one Crimson Head who hasn't woken up yet. And one other zombie, but I think we can just dodge him. We should be okay. But this guy's dead. I do find it weird that the infinite rocket launcher doesn't actually, like, torch them. It just knocks them over so they can still Crimson Head. Kind of... strange. Anyway. Let's see. Can we get past this guy? Hello! Holy shit, that was fast! I, like, tapped the remote! What the fuck? Well, in case you guys weren't sure, yes, the nitro is active, and holy shit, that was the quickest I've ever exploded. Oh, okay. Well, guess I have to go remanage my whole inventory. Hold on. Oh yeah, another interesting thing I noticed is you can actually get the battery pack as an item in your inventory this way, which normally you only get to, like, see the stun gun, but you can actually examine the battery. Like, there's actually a 3D model for it. So that's actually kind of neat. They just get an ordinary battery sold in stores. Looks like it could be used to spare for the stun gun. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think that description actually appears in the game anywhere. I thought that was interesting. And then, also, one glitch on the GameCube one you could do is if you gave Jill the flamethrower, the, the game would just crash and it would fail. But right now, they did fix that so you can equip the flamethrower. It just doesn't show up on Jill because there's no model for it. Oh yeah, other little tidbits. Okay, hopefully this goes better this time. So, I'm actually playing on normal difficulty because last time the video was too easy. Uh, so maybe this was not a good idea, we'll see. We should be able to dodge this. Oh shit, I actually fucked up the dodge because I was walking. Are we good? It's okay. Just hang out there. Oh, okay, wow. Wasted one of our knives. That was sloppy. Okay, so, but I should be able to run a little bit more than that. But yeah, I don't really want to push it. Alright, I already did this part, so I'm just gonna go walk to the Crimson Head Elder now. Thankfully, for some reason, once you have all four death masks, these two bodies disappear. I'm not really sure why they did that, but it's very handy because you don't have to deal with Crimson Heads right before the Crimson Head. Okay, this is actually going to be really difficult because there's not really an al any alternative to killing him. Whereas a lot of bosses in the game you can get around, like the Tiger Spider, you can just kind of just use the knife to get rid of the door. Or the plant boss, you could just use Vigil. This guy, you don't really have a choice. So... Hopefully we're not going to be on here for a really long time. I might just have- if, if I keep dying to him, I might just have to keep cutting the video. <laughs> I 
Actually, I really should have tested just to see if I can even fire the shotgun without blowing up. Because if it just blows me up from firing the shotgun, I'm going to need to use the pistol. Since we at least know from the last video that the dogs actually worked. Or you could use the pistol against the dogs. Hi, buddy. Ah, uh, uh, shit. Okay. Uh. I should have just exploded from that running right there. Hey, buddy. Just gonna... Still good. Oh shit, we might actually do this? Oh, okay. Oh man, RNG is on my side. Okay, we're gonna unequip that. We're gonna unequip that gun so I don't have to worry about that. And slowly walk over until I can get to a safe point. Ah, okay. Oh man, the next save point's totally not until Lisa Trevor, isn't it? Until the cabin. Alright guys, can I walk to the cabin without anything going wrong? I guess we'll find out. I'm just gonna slowly jaunt out of this part at least. Oh yeah. yeah. Kitty, can you get out of the moving boxes? You're being kind of a butthole. <laughs> I should probably have just tape that box though, so you can kind of see him in the, Michael, in the view a little bit. He's not... Yep, there's his head. It's all pop up. There he is. Hey! He wants to go outside. Also probably not very happy that we're moving. Okay, so okay, so in this room we've got one we got one zombie and a crimson head in this room, followed by a dog in the next room. So I think we'll be fine though. Because this guy's just gonna Okay, good, okay. I had to make sure I ran at that last part, otherwise he would have got up in front of me blocking the path. Okay, okay, now we just have the dog. This guy should hopefully be okay. There he is. Oh shit, he's already here, he's already here. Oh fuck. Whoever's Skyping me now, I'm being chased by a zombie dog. Dog, fuck you, Skype! Damn it! Fucking shit! Oh. Damn it, I, I raged hard enough, I just unplugged my microphone. Or unplugged the headphones. But fucking shit. Oh man. It, that RNG, it's just, I, I swear it wasn't this hard last time, which is interesting, but, fuck. Oh. Uh, okay, because I already beat Crimson Head Elder once, I'm just gonna... <sighs> just go walk back up to where we were. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so back to where we left off. I figured that as long as I actually beat a part, then I can just let myself run back to that part without the Nitro, just to make it so I can actually beat this playthrough. Because otherwise we're going to have to keep repeating that Crimson Head Elder fight. But since I haven't actually cleared this part, I still have to do this. Actually, I did clear this part, but I forgot to turn the recording back on. So now I have to do it again. <laughs> I barely made it! Oh. Okay. Uh. So we got to get past this Crimson Head. Oh, shit! Oh, oh! Missed the door, missed the door. Okay, we're good though, we're good. Okay, uh. And then this dog is the biggest pain in the ass. Uh. Oh, there it goes. Shit, shit. Alright, okay, okay, we got the emblem in there. I thought I wasn't aligned for a second, I was gonna be pissed. He's gonna grab me, I think. Oh no, okay, got it. okay, good. Last time he grabbed me, but I managed to get by without issue, so. Okay, we're good, okay. So, the next part of this is running up to Lisa Trevor's cabin, which is not terribly interesting, since there's not actually any monsters in there in the first pass. So I'll just go ahead and fast forward that. But I did think it was interesting that you can kind of see the, the battery 3D model here. So you actually do get to see it in the menu thing. That's probably why they animated it. But you never actually get it in your inventory. And I guess they just added a description to it just because all items have a description by default. So that was an interesting touch. But yeah, I'll go ahead and fast forward. Okay, so we're in Lisa Trevor's mansion. I just saved. So, now that that's all squared away, I just need to go grab the crank, and then trigger her, and then run past. Yay! Fun part. I really wish if your character knew that they could just lift up this plank here, go grab the stone and metal object, they're just like the stone ring, and then just leave. And just be like, hey, I'm done with half the game. 
Uh, no, I can't just get half the game that way. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, can I get past this without being hit? I don't actually know. Hey, obvious trap! Oh, just push! <laughs> okay. Just realized this is kind of like one dangerous zombie, except you are the one dangerous zombie. And I'm so glad I'm not playing this with one dangerous zombie on. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to do that. Hey, how's it going? Oh. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really good at dodging her very. Well. Okay, we got hit. I think we're good. Probably dropped my health a fair bit. Wonder if she'll catch up to me. Nope. She'll just scream. Okay. Oof. That wasn't too bad. I, I'm really bad at that dodge. I don't know how to... I can't get by without being hit at all. So it looks like I took a little bit of damage. Like, nothing a green herb can't fix a little bit. Well, yeah. So this next part, there's just one zombie is incredibly easy to dodge. So that the fun part is going to be getting past the dogs in the garden to get to the crank elevator. Yay! Alright, where is that zombie, though? He's... Should be around this corner. Next corner. I hear you moaning. I'm just staring out at the stars. Can I can I join you, zombie? Yeah. What a peaceful scenery. I agree. It is nice. Well, I'm just gonna go around this tree. We'll see you later. Don't, don't stay out too late. It's cold. You'll catch a zombie pneumonia or something. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, he just, he's kind of useless. It's also, you don't want to kill him either, because he'll become a crimson head later. And that would be really stupid of you. So just listen to him moan. Oh yeah. More walking. Okay, here we are. Here's the fun part. So this is the one where there's, I figure if there's two or three dogs, we just have to get up to the other side. But I have to do that with sprinting as little as possible. Oh, hi Brad. Don't care. Okay. Here's one. Two. Crap, he's right by the staircase I need to be at. Do they, do they not notice me because I'm walking? Is that fucker going up the stairs? Wow, go away. Oh man, I've never seen him do that. Like, I'm just gonna walk directly in front of where you need to go. And also, I feel incredibly stupid. I never realized you could just walk through that part and really not have much issue. Wow. They did not even notice me. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, huh. So there is one more set of dogs up on the other side of this. We just gotta lower the water level. So we can get across. You can hear the sound of a waterfall. Okay. I kind of wonder if the snakes will actually set you off as well when you walk on this path, but the snakes shouldn't appear on this first part. Oh yeah, give me a minute, I'll fast forward. I, I think there's only one dog down here, and then I think there's a couple snakes going into the courtyard, so we have to deal with that part, but... Maybe the other dog won't notice me? Well, there's a crow. Is the dog sleeping, isn't he? Hello? Anybody? Where is the dog? What? Is he, is he not here? I'm on normal mode. I, I think it's because I'm walking around. I actually didn't realize the dogs don't pay much attention to you if you're just kind of walking. That's very anticlimactic. <laughs> but I guess it kind of forces you to be stealth. Okay. I'm gonna take this red herb just because I can. Um... Snake drop down? Is it on this first bat? Oh, there's a snake. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. Oh crap, they're actually chasing after me. <laughs> and since I'm walking, they're actually keeping up. Ah, oh, oh, four snakes. Ah, that's six snakes. Ah, butterfly, don't blow me up either. Oh, that's a lot of snake hissing. Oh crap, they actually are following me. Ah, uh, please go away. Ah! Oh crap! Ah, that's a lot of snakes! <laughs> okay, we're good though. We are in the residence. Okay. As long as I can 
sneak my way over to the save room. As long as I don't... I always get these backwards. I think it's this one, though. I hope it's not the other one, because then the giant spider is going to come down. <laughs> That's not going to be fun. Okay, good. Got it right. Okay, cool. So I can go ahead and save here, and then this will be a good spot to end this episode. So we cleared the Crimson Held Elder with actually not too much difficulty. Uh, a couple blow-ups. Not actually too bad. So this one will... So for next episode, I'll try and clear the residence area, which is going to be a lot of spiders, some zombies, a lot of close quarters, and the sharks. Yeah, we have the shark. Oh, fuck the sharks. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the sharks are going to be a pain in the butt. But I keep saying that, but I keep having pretty good luck, so, you know, maybe things will go well. So yeah, tune in next time. Bye! <laughs>